Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to my garage. Yes, indeed, we are already back. And well, frankly, we're going to get the rest of the shop down here. Now, I did notice that uh, there's no way to actually get inside of this thing with vehicles. Those two bays up front uh, do not open. Now, I don't think this thing, the door's wide enough to squeeze, uh, say, the Niv through. No, no. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. Anyway, anyway, so I don't think we're going to be putting cars inside of that, uh, but we will be able to uh, put them elsewhere. But yeah, one thing I was talking about, uh, so like right here, for instance, look at this curb. Okay, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit steep, but look at this. This should work perfectly fine. Uh, even if we wanted to get back here uh, to this other one, we sure in the heck, sure in the heck could. Uh, this garage is quite uh, quite massive, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, so anyway, anyway, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and get everything kind of uh, organized, put away, and uh, all of that. And then we're going to head up north to the old shop and pick up the rest of the stuff. Uh, but before we do that, we need to go ahead and unload uh, our car here. Get everything set up like so. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So, uh, like our welder and stuff, uh, we need to bring back. And what I was thinking, you guys, um, we left a lot of stuff uh, out there in the world because it kind of just fell off, right? Look, I don't even see. It looks like we got everything that came with us and not, none of the shelves made it. But anyway, what I was thinking with this back room here, uh, I'm going to turn this into a little storage area, either this one or this one. Um, probably that other one. I could turn this one into an office that has a nice view. Uh, we don't want people freaking breaking in and stealing our stuff. Anyway, yeah, so I'm thinking throwing up like shelving, uh, traditional shelving that we'd be able to store parts on. It's kind of secured back here. We could even probably put up a wall uh, with a door frame here and add a door to it. And I don't know if that will help because, um, you know, the garage up north by the old place uh, the one where it has the different keys on it, you know what I mean? And it's supposed to help with performance or whatever. And the goal, the idea with that is like you basically stick it inside of there and um, it despawns, right? It despawns your items, uh, which in turn uh, r frees up some resources, right? Uh, you know what? I think we're going to just bring that back over to this side. But anyway, yeah, you, you throw it in that garage up north, it despawns your items, and it basically frees up resources. But anyway, I want to kind of test out a couple things. Uh, if we ever get to the point to where we're bogging down, um, I might, you know, create a separate garage to park our cars in. And I'm hoping if it's behind a wall or whatever, um, maybe it will actually... Uh, free up resources anyway so this video is going to be a little bit different than the last one the last one is a fairly uncut experience uh you know what i mean but this one we're just going to kind of do a little bit of trickery and get stuff done so something like this like that something like that uh we're going to be doing a little bit of that kind of action uh, just to make it a little bit faster streamline it a little bit uh and not waste the time uh moving everything anyway this is what it looks like we got these over here put these over here now i am curious to see i want to try something with the building mechanics in here and see if i could build you know how we you do like a cork board and you hang your tools up on the wall i want to see if there's a way that i could build something uh to kind of hang up some tools on the wall obviously not all of them anyway 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 uh so yeah that'll be good oh yeah and i did notice on one of the furniture mods uh, it does appear that there was um, tire racks on there. So I did install it. I just, or no, I downloaded it. I just not have not installed it. Anyway, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get these all hooked back up. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah. You know what? I never emptied out the good old uh, trailer there. So this is going to be our part room, by the way. Uh, we will end up getting the shelves and all of that in there. But let's go ahead and back this up or open it up rather okay okay yeah let me go ahead and uh, empty this out real quick okay there we go got it all emptied out most of it's back there I threw some over here but i was thinking there's a lot we could do with this place honestly um one we're going to be adding a more lighting because it is a little bit dark in here and i'd like to be able to see a little bit better we'll obviously put on the lights on the bottom and all of that um but over here's like this huge wall uh with a lot of room here so i was thinking we could even build makeshift shelves out of the wood and stuff from the good old 
uh, parts store over there. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get all these trailers hooked back up so we can get back up there and grab more vehicles. Uh, we are going to go ahead and park that Jesse uh, before we leave. Okay, don't wreck into it, please. Okay, there we go. Get on here. No, no. Okay, you know what? Let's hook up the Niv first. Uh, apparently, this thing likes to uh, scroll around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's get this all hooked up and uh, get this thing rocking and rolling. So there we go. It's all hooked up. We are going to move the Jesse real quick and get it parked somewhere. Uh, you know, somewhere, somewhere. Anyway, probably up front for now. Let's go ahead and sit in and get it started. There we go. I keep forgetting it is an automatic. So we got to figure out the buttons every single time. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop out a little bit here. Uh, there's no reason to have the clutch on. Oh, I think we got the brake on. Hold on a second. Uh, nope. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Don't hit the trailer, please. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and park this thing. Uh, I'm thinking up here somewhere. Probably. Probably right back here like this. Yes, yes. Okay, this car, I kind of love it. All right, anyway, let's get it back in a bada bing. Uh, which way is the best way to angle it? Probably something like this, right? Uh, let's just bring it forward just a little bit. Oops, it's in park. It's in park. It's fine. I think this will do just fine. Let's go ahead and turn it off. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Fantastic. Well, it's a butte. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, we're going to bring all of our cars basically up front of here into the parking lot, I think. And then hopefully it'll be far away enough um, when we start working on cars that it won't affect our performance too much. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get back up to the good old old garage and uh, continue our business here. So I wasn't sure on what to do um, as far as the recording goes. Uh, leaving my driving in as we go up there with nothing uh, or just cut it out, you know what I mean? Or maybe just leave the driving uh, when we have all of our stuff loaded up uh, just to kind of bring it down a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to keep it recording just in case anything happens. Uh, but basically, we're just going to cut it. So uh, we'll meet you up at the garage. All right, we're back up here. Uh, we're just going to get pulled in. We're going to take another car with us. There's a bunch of our stuff that fell out. Um, but let's kind of get around the horn here, get pulled in. And I just wanted to say, I figured out what was the problem in the last video when we was trying to haul the F-350. Uh, so what it was, was... Okay, let's get stopped. Let's turn it off. Uh, so what the problem was is the F-350, when you put on the parking brake, um, it doesn't stay stopped because it locks its wheels. It's because it locks its position to the ground in that spot. Um, that's why the F-350, it's like uh, the other cars might do the same thing. Uh, but if you notice with the F-350, if you got the brake on and you try to push this thing, it's really, really hard to push. Uh, so basically when it was on our trailer, it was locked to the ground so we're going to try to take this thing once again uh, but this time i'm going to leave the brake off and hope uh, maybe if we bring the tires over the edge uh, hope that we could actually take the damn thing with us anyway uh, i do need to reposition uh not really not really i just have to take the truck around the back side here anyway let's go ahead and start loading this thing back up again uh, i'm going to go ahead and grab all of these lad parts and then I was thinking uh, what we could do is I'm going to put this. I went ahead and grabbed a new uh, one of these things. We're going to get this attached to that trailer uh, because I think it'll be a much wiser decision in order in order to store all of the, um, the things that we're trying to take. Let's get that tightened. There we go. There we go. So we just got to tighten this down real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like all the tables and stuff, uh, we could sit in here and not have to worry about it falling off or flying off. Um, everything will stay pretty, pretty well secured in here, right? Uh, let's see, where's it at? There it is. We're going to turn our light on just so we can see a little bit better. Uh, but there we go. And uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, bag this. I did buy uh, another move tool, by the way. Uh, we are going to put that in there. Uh, and we are going to actually load up our dumpster. Uh, hopefully, um, we'll probably throw it in something like this. Uh, I don't know how heavy this thing is and how much of a problem it's going to give us, uh, but let's take a look. It looks like it's going to work just fine. It might be fairly heavy. I don't know. I don't know. 
um, I didn't see the trailer move at all. Uh, so we're going to bring it back just a little bit in front of the wheels, but over the wheels, uh, just so that tongue weight is good, right? Um, I did get all those parts, by the way. I wanted to come in here and see if we're forgetting anything else. I mean, we do got a part here. I forgot about these hubcaps uh, that apparently are not baggable. So that kind of sucks. Uh, we could easily put them back onto the truck out there, however. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and grab, I guess, the tint and that. Um, I don't know if I should be grabbing all of the paints. Uh, I mean, ideally, yes. Uh, ideally, right? Let's go ahead and grab this as well. Um, and then the rims, I'm not too sure about. Uh, we might take them. We might not. We might take them at a later date as well. Uh, we do want to take the chair, uh, as I do want to create a little office in there. Um, I still haven't, still haven't got the desk yet, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and stick this in, make sure we have enough room, and it looks like it is. Uh, these are all parts, uh, so we're going to drop our wrench and just kind of get everything else dropped off inside of there. Pick that back up. Okay, okay, okay. So what else can we do? What else should we do? And uh, yes, uh, I do got the decals. We're going to see if we can put decals on things uh, like, you know, building materials um, down at that other shop and see if we could actually actually label our shop. But if not, I have a pretty good idea on how we can do that. So uh, it would be involved. It would involve using the good old Jesse freaking tailgate. Anyway, um, anything else we should take before we go? All of the tables and stuff that we lost, we will in fact take. Uh, you know what? We do actually want to take. I do want to take these because we've already bought them. Uh, so there's no reason not to grab these right away. Now, those are like 500 bucks a piece. So, so yeah. Uh, is this empty? It is empty. Okay. Okay, okay. Anyway, um, so I think at this point, that's it for here. Actually, it's not. Actually, it's not. Hold on. Uh, let's go ahead and pocket this thing real quick. There we go. There we go. Uh, these are all trash, by the way. Uh, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, we do have a lot of stuff in here as well. Let's get the light on real quick. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. I don't know if I want to take all this or not. Should I take it? Yeah, screw it. We may as well, and we did, and we did. I got it all loaded up. Good Lord, that took quite a while. And by the way, by the way, by the way, um, I decided that I am going to put this on to the F-350. And uh, yeah, 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 we should definitely be able to tow this whole thing with the F-350 at that point. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm not too sure anyway, but I also uh, thought about uh, what we could do with these cars instead of trying to haul them. And I should have did it already so we could have moved them when we went down there. Uh, we are going to go ahead and tow this one to the customer sign. Adios. Adios. And then this one, we are going to go ahead and tow to the service center. Costs a little bit more. It's a little bit more expensive indeed. Uh, I am aware, but at least now we don't have to worry about hauling those. Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely are going to need this. Uh, can we pocket this, by the way? Okay, we can. Fantastic. Uh, let's get this roof rack. I don't even know where this thing came from. Uh, I don't know if I want to hook the F-350 up or not and try to haul this. Um, I feel like it might just cause problems. I feel like the NIV is probably good enough. Um, but I still think I may... Well, we have two cars. We could put the Wolf on here and or the uh, Lad over there. Or we might be able to put the NIV and the lad on this at the same time that's why i was going to use the f-350 to pull it um but but i'm not too sure i'm not too sure what to do i do know that next up though we're going to go ahead and grab uh the stuff in the road it's over here get it into the trailer that has the new uh, box frame on it and uh, we should be good we should be good we're gonna have to see exactly how tall look at that texture by the way it's kind of nice uh, it reminds me of like some of the plastic uh, plastics textures that plastics have anyway uh, that chair is sticking through let's see how tall this thing is um i think it's too tall so we're probably going to have to set it in there like so uh so yeah let's go ahead and see if we can get this stuff loaded up we're gonna oh yeah yeah, yeah. i forgot about the damn okay anyway let's set it up like this and see how tall it is and uh, do a little bit of uh, mental math. Oh yeah, no way. That is definitely, 
definitely not fitting okay well crap well i'm not too sure what we could do with this um anyway let's go grab the little shelf that will definitely fit in there uh, i know we passed another one of these on the way back and then also the tire machine uh which would definitely fit in there i mean i could always leave the dumpster for now um that's not really a big issue i don't think okay easy pal get, okay no 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 get down okay what are you dying huh what are you dying uh, let's pull this dumpster out actually yeah 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 i think it'll be better and then let's flip this around okay not like that and like so okay okay and then we'll load this in like normal furniture um yeah yeah it should be fine uh let's go ahead and push it all the way back to the wall right is it clipping it is okay okay easy easy okay no 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 okay 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 i think that works i think that works and then we should be able to get that shelving in there with no problem um i'm not too sure if i want to i think i'm going to try to hook up the truck uh to the front uh using that other bed uh so yeah yeah let's go ahead and see if we can get the truck hooked up here okay so i'm not sure if this is going to work out too swell but let's go ahead and zoom in now what we're going to try to do it looks like it's a little bit too high uh but we're going to try to oh i got the brake on we're going to try to throw this off uh onto that platform basically so we're going to come like this and we're going to throw it in reverse and just kind of ram it okay okay yeah 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 that works that works yeah yeah look at that look at that freaking genius man that's freaking 2000 iq uh maneuvers right there anyway let's go ahead and uh, jump up on here push it off and then we'll have to remove the bed and uh, all of that yeah yeah look at it look at it look at it go fool go oh man okay okay it's a little bit um it's actually fine it's actually fine okay so now all we have to do is jump into here again uh pull forward and then remove okay we got the brake on again uh no we didn't oh my god okay hold on come on pull okay okay it's a little bit stuck i think i got it a little bit stuck come on baby four wheel drive four wheel drive there we go look at that look at that okay okay slow it down tiger anyway this is actually a good spot uh it worked out in my favor anyway may the odds be ever in your favor or may the odds ever be in your favor anyway where's the wrench right here let's go and pull this puppy off pull this puppy off it should be easy uh one two three all the way across and then we're gonna throw that other one on and back it up uh, and put that other put that wolf on it and then the tow ball is going to be uh, visible at that point at which we can hook up the trailer and it should work all okay easy easy it should work just fine it should work just fine now i'm not sure how i'm going to get this back you know i might have to come pick it up at some point with nothing on it like this uh, but anyway let's get this one put on okay there it is there it is and on okay let's get it all tightened up there we uh, go one two three four five six and then we'll put that uh that switch on here as well uh because that will help us uh lock and lock whatever we put on here into place uh so we shouldn't have to worry about it falling off and hold on i gotta grab this one over here real quick there it is there it is okay uh yeah where's that switch at right here uh let's go ahead and get this on it should just pop on right around there yep there it is okay and one bolt uno la bolto anyway anyway that looks a lot better uh, now we just have to put this back in our pocket put this back into our pocket and then uh put the wolf on here yeah maybe we, after the wolf is on there a bit there'll be enough room uh to throw on that dumpster anyway let's get it started uh release that brake it's already in reverse let's see if we can get it backed up to the old wolf uh, we're gonna have to pull it forward just a bit here okay there we go and there we go oops fourth gear wrong gear wrong gear we got it we got it let's go ahead and line it up as it was right and look at look at us look at us go look at us go and stop stop 
Uh, let's hit on that mega break. It is a mega break, by the way. Uh, this break works excellent. Okay, and we should be able to just push that puppy right on. Unfortunately, this um, bed does not take... Um... Okay, okay. Easy, easy. Uh, winches. Unfortunately, winches uh, cannot go on here. Anyway, let's see if we can get this on. Nope, we need to come over a little bit to the right. And a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Okay, there we go. I think we're touching tips. Just kidding. Let's go ahead and push this over. Okay, we don't have enough room for a dumpster, uh, but that's okay. I mean, honestly, it's perfectly fine. Okay, okay, does that look even? Does it look even? Not quite. It's a little bit off, but it should be fine. Um, but check it out, the tow ball is right there we should be able to hook a trailer up no problem and then all we have to do is come over to this thing it says freeze uh cars on flatbed unfreeze cars and teleport okay and then you have to okay no we have to left click so there we go it should be frozen it's hard to tell anyway anyway next up we need to push the niv out of the way okay this might be a little bit of a disaster uh let's find out we're gonna unhook right yep set it down okay 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 so far so good let's bring this back or pull it okay easy hold on uh let's put the brake on there you go there we go okay and then we're just gonna back the truck up and get it hooked up and it should work just fine uh and then we're gonna see if we could fit the niv and the lad uh onto the back of that final trailer back there there we go release the brake Let's go ahead and uh, sit down, throw it into drive. Now that should be locked in and just fine. We are going to pop our big heads out like this. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, I don't have the, uh, I forgot. Uh, all, all trucks, I mean, real life and everything does not have the best turning radius. But let's go ahead and slap it into reverse. And let's see if we can get this uh, as close as possible without causing a lot of issues right okay it's a little bit hard to see but let's see let's see stop it right there let's go ahead and hit that brake shut it off how's our fuel by the way oh god i'm pretty low on fuel um i should have filled up first it's okay it's okay uh, i don't think we're gonna well we might run out it's a big old v8 uh and i don't have any things it's fine it's fine let's just uh hook it up oh dude the car is not locked uh, i just saw it move but this is working out fantastic. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and close this real quick. And there we go. So now all we have to do is... I can't believe I left this open, by the way. Uh, let's get our move tool back out. Uh, reposition this real quick. There we go. There we go. Is it kind of going through? Kind of. Um, yeah, I forgot that you need to have this closed. Anyway, let's see if we can jump up here. Get this repositioned, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. And then we're going to grab this thing and see if we can get it in. Uh, back there like so. That should be fine. And close it. Okay, okay. Now everything should work smooth from here on out. Um, yeah, yeah. We got everything hooked up. No brakes are on. Okay, okay. Uh, the car is looking excellent. excellent. It looks like it's... Uh, frozen into place just fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit freeze cars again, just in case. And uh, let's see, that should be everything. Uh, we still have that car up there, obviously. Um, but let me go ahead and get, well, let's go ahead and try to get the Niv on here real quick. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and crank this up to just there. Once it basically moves, uh, that's high enough. So let's get the car on here, the Niv, um, park it, and then we'll see how much room is left and see if we can actually get the lad on here as well. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, throw it in reverse. There we go. And is there gonna be enough clearance? I think I got the brake on. Yep. I'm gonna say, is there enough clearance to back this up through here? There is. Uh, we're going to run over some bottles and stuff. I mean, nothing some tires shouldn't be able to handle. Okay. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's kick it over uh, and get up onto this thing. See if we can get it locked into place. And then 
all that's going to be left is the good okay we're going to back it out just like so and i am going to say there's definitely not enough room for the uh there's definitely not going to be enough room for that lad right no okay stop you fool uh, let's go ahead and back up just a little bit i want there to be perfect kind of tongue weight on this trailer i don't want it to be too far forward so let's hit the brake kill it yep get out and then we got to drop the good old trailer uh but this should work just fine and there we go there we go um i don't think it's too far back it seems like it's wanting to lift that up a little bit uh so if it's lifting this end up it's pushing that end down which is yeah everything seems a little bit uneven uh, let's see if we could push this car forward just a smidge and see if that will help a little bit out with the weight okay i think that looks a little bit better yeah we're definitely not putting the lad on there unfortunately so i think that's going to be it for now uh yeah yeah then we'll just have to bring the tow truck back again we could pick up that car and that car with just that trailer oh yeah and then we'll probably bring one of these uh just so we can get the rest of the stuff in fact uh yeah let's go ahead and grab this real quick as we are in fact uh not we don't have this right uh, let's see is there room in here a little bit hard to see we're gonna just scooch okay we need to basically scoot this all the way over here uh without causing problems okay that looks good and then we should be able to sit this inside and we did we did okay pocket it okay let's go let's freaking go let's get in the truck and get out of here before uh, everything starts to break let's make sure we don't have any brakes on actually no brake no brake uh no brake okay awesome awesome possum okay let's go what the hell was that did you hear that i swear to god my tire just went flat oh what luck oh my god what in the world is that about okay well apparently we're not leaving quite yet we need to do a little bit of quick repairs on this damn thing what the freaking hell dude oh my god and oh i don't even know where to buy those tires at by the way um i think i have to go all the way down to the mod shop we do we have to go down to the mod shop and i don't even have a jack up here anymore crapola oh my god okay whatever it's fine <laughs> it's fine okay 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 i can't believe that tire just popped that well i love that actually i wish all the other tires would do that exact same thing because <laughs> it's a great great mechanic okay well anyway um i guess we'll just go down together luckily we still have this car we're gonna go pick up one tire for this thing and then we also need to grab a jack uh so we can lift that thing up so let's get sit down uh, let's go ahead and crouch a little bit right there we go and get it started there we go there we go throw it into reverse how's our fuel by the way half a tank half a tank release the brake uh, let's get this thing off of this platform without falling off there we go and there we go there we go okay let's go let's go if you don't know where the mod shop is well follow follow along uh you're gonna make a left right here there we go there we go and yep just follow this road easy yep we got it we got it throw it in a second okay uh you know i wonder i don't remember these little road easy pal easy see all these little things on the left of me i don't remember these things always being here uh, I feel like they were added at some point, and a good lord, I bet you they are dangerous. Let me know, have any of you guys ever slammed into those things, and does it cause a lot of damage? Anyway, let's go. Full, full send, full send. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Yeah, we got, we got this, we got this, we got this. Yeah, we did almost flip it. I think I actually, okay, easy, easy. Actually, we need to... Uh, pull it in and figure out okay there's the tires um i think once we click on them though they're going to spawn over here um yeah yeah 
Let's get it. Uh, yep, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's kill it. Kill it. There we are. Um, I still haven't installed the other mods, by the way. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is the mod storm. Uh, if you didn't know, well, now you know. Okay, I think we just need one tire. Yep, it's going to spawn over there. Let's get it loaded up. Oh my god, I don't have the tire machine, by the way. I lost that somewhere. Crap. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get this in here. We're just going to put it in the passenger seat. Welp, welp, welp. We might have to convert that front end, actually, to a uh, NIV front end. And then, yeah, yeah, we might have to do that. We might have to put a new new freaking rim on. Anyway, um, it's fine. Let's go. Yep. There we go. Full send. And we're off. We're off. Okay, easy. Slow it down. Slow it down. I think I still have that raised suspension on this thing. Um, if you guys remember the episode where I raced, um, I forget what happened at the end, but I never saved it. Uh, so it ended up loading up when we had that high suspension. So anyway, anyway, let's get back. I don't think this tire is going to work because I don't have, I don't have the tire machine. The tire machine's like an bum F Egypt, right? So we might have to convert it to a... A NIV front end. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's head to the store real quick. Okay, easy. That was a close one. And here we go. Here we go. Get slowed down. There we go. There we go. Let's uh, kill it. And let's grab. So what we're going to need to do this conversion. We have our wrench. We have our move tool. I'm going to have hey, to... Uh, do you wear the same clothes every day? Or do you have, like... A lot of the same matching set. Hey, bro, I see you in that blue shirt and those freaking gray khakis every single day. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You have those same eyes every day, huh? huh? Anyway, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to switch this over to the NIV since the NIV in the truck. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to keep it on the NIV. And then uh, what we're going to have to do next is go to suspension. And we're going to have to pick up a hub. Uh, I think we'll just do a five bolt hub. I'm assuming that's what we have. And it should just fit on there. I don't think we need to switch out anything else. So let's just grab these two things real quick. And why can I not pick that up, by the way? It's fine. It's fine. Let's throw this in there. Yeah, I don't know if it has a carrier hub already or not, actually. So throw it into first. Uh, we don't have a brake on. And let's zoom over there. Oh, easy. 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 Okay, we're good. We're good. We are good. Let's get stopped. Let's... Okay, stuff has already fallen out of the trailers. Oh, yeah, look at all that junk. Anyway, we'll get that cleaned up before we leave. At least the car's holding on. The NIV. How's that NIV doing? Oh, it's actually doing fairly well. I mean, it's still on. Uh, we're just going to scooch it just a little bit. Anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this kind of sucks. Um, I left all my tools, by the way. Let's grab the floor jack. Now, you might be saying, why don't you just jack it up right here? Well, unfortunately, the car, uh, for whatever reasons, it does not hold on to axles very well, the jacks. So we have to do it over on the side here. But this should be enough to get us up unless it slides off, of course. Uh, which it may we might want to push it back just a bit more and then yeah we're gonna have to go ahead and throw on hopefully it comes with a uh, carrier arm right I don't know actually and okay that looks a little bit better but not the best let's go ahead and grab our wrench pull this sucker off and then we're going to basically throw on one of the rims that we have in the garage back there uh, there we go god look at that that's actually beautiful Oh man, I hope that the uh, regular game gets such physics like that. Like, I've never seen a tire pop in my life, so... Uh, on the game, on the game. Anyway, we need the pry tool, or at least a screwdriver. Uh, let me see if we can get a pry tool or a screwdriver. Okay, I actually have a pry tool, 
across the street here right here at the shop that we had from uh another time anyway let's get over there we got to pull everything off and then oh god i think i'm gonna have to come back actually and get a rotor uh for the brakes i didn't think about that uh, that's okay though that's okay uh let's see yep here we go let's go ahead and pull off the good old uh caliper actually this one should fit still it should still fit yeah Okay, okay. What else do we need to take off? I can't remember. I think it's the brake. So there's our wrench. Uh, I think all we have to do is pull off the brake caliper. And then that thing should come right off. One, two, uh, three. There we go. And then this should come off right on the front. Yes, sir. And there we go. Okay, good. It has the thing. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the good old hub that we just picked up out of the lad over here. Uh, we are going to sleep real quick, by the way. There we go. And where is that hub? Hubbity hubbity hub. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this still has the raised suspension on it. Uh, but do you guys like it? Do you like that car? I think it looks pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. It got the local sponsors. Oh, yeah. And I found out, by the way, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. This here, this RDH. I didn't know what it was. It was on one of those uh, containers down there. And that's actually a YouTuber, you guys. So let me know. Who is that? Who is that YouTuber? Anyway, and I'm thinking that CG, this one here, uh, might be a YouTuber as well. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Let's go and get this put on. Uh, yep, just like so. Tighten it, please. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this on. Uh, just kidding. What is this for? It's F4 and F350. Uh, front, oh, it's a dually brake. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to get a new brake. Um, that's fine. That's junk. That's junk. Uh, we will take this with us just in case we end up replacing that with another dually. But we just need to get a five bolt. I think this one will be fine. Um, it'd probably be wise if we actually uh, did both fronts, but we're not going to. So what are we going to do? We're going to run across and grab a disc for this. All right, so oddly enough, uh, the five bolt is only for the F100. Can I? Can you guys see that down there? Yeah, see? And then the four bolt here is actually for the 350. So a little bit strange, uh, but I guess it is what it is. And damn it to hell, I didn't grab the hub. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the five bolt still works, even though it says it doesn't. Okay, thank the baby. Uh, Jesus for that. Uh, anyway, we need to grab a screwdriver. So let me go grab a screwdriver and let's go ahead and uh, tighten this up real quick. Uh, there we go. There we go. So I'm glad that is intercompatible. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bag all that. Um, we might as well throw this into the truck actually or into the trailer. And then all we have to do now is throw the brakes back on, right? Uh, yep. Just like so the thing's holding. Let's hope uh, now, technically, I should have jack stands, right? Because if this thing would fall, <laughs> I am a dead man. I would never do that in real life, by the way. Uh, no, no, no. I use jack stands. I do not trust freaking jacks, bro. Anyway, let's get that tight. Uh, we should probably... Well, let's just go ahead and lower it, and we'll see if the tire's flat. Uh, we might need to put air in it, but it looks like it's going to be just fine. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Let's just push this NIV back on and then we are going to be, uh, we're going to be set. We are in fact going to be set. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll come back and grab these other two cars with the, um, pickup truck. Yeah. I think we're going to do that. I could obviously just come back here with any car and then pay the money to have those things shipped. Uh, but I think I'm going to do it a little bit more fun. Like and we're going to take this thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in and let's get moving. Okay, and make sure all the brakes are off. They are. Okay, okay. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let's hope we don't get another flat. Good gosh. Um, but that tire was pretty worn out, actually, uh, beforehand. Uh, so there we go. Let's throw it into first. Let's kick it over to the right here. And uh, let's see how this works out. Okay, okay. Nope, nope, nope. Reverse, reverse. Let's go ahead and uh, view ourselves out a little bit here. Okay, that's not too good of a thing here. Um, let's hope we don't jackknife it too much. And we kind of are. But let's see if we can get past this sign. Okay, I think we're going to hit it. Yep, reverse. Okay. Kick it over just a bit. 
Okay, okay, okay. I think it's okay. And back over. Okay, okay. I think we got this. I think we got this. Yeah, yeah. It's looking just fine. How's it look? Okay, I think everything's holding pretty well. Right? Yeah, yeah. It looks like it. Okay, easy, easy. Stay on the road, you freaking idiot. Okay, okay. Anyway, anyway, let's get going. We're gonna go back into first. And uh, let's see how, how well this handles. Indeed, second gear. Yep, yep. Too bad my side mirrors don't work. Uh, I can't quite see. That's okay though. Oh, nope, nope, nope. It's not doing well. It's not doing well at all. Uh, looks like our woof is in fact falling off. Uh, so we might need to get out and reposition that. Uh, the car in the back is holding just fine though. Okay, okay. Uh, just give it a little bit more gas. Okay, yeah, it's acting a little bit funny. It's acting a little bit funny. It's wanting to pull. That's uh, because of that freaking woof. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull over real quick. We're going to go ahead and reposition that thing. Uh, turn it off. Yep, hit the brake. Let's see if we can push that back on. Um, apparently, it's not locked into place anymore. So, there we go. Okay, there we go. And, okay, there we go, there we go. We're going to try to push it forward just a little bit more. Um, let's hit the unfreeze button real quick. Unfreezes cars on flatbed. There we go. And then let's push it forward. And, okay, did we get it? Oh, I don't know if we did. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty much all the way up. We're going to go ahead and freeze cars on flatbed again. Hopefully that's frozen. And, okay, we're good. Let's get back in and uh, continue our journey. Sit down. Start it, throw it into first, release the brake. Okay, okay. Okay, I think it's doing okay now. Uh, we'll see. I wasn't able to get it going very fast. It started acting very, very squirrely, and I'm sure uh, having two different front tires does. Okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Okay, we don't want this thing to jackknife and screw us over really, really badly. Okay, I mean. It's not the fastest way to transport. I think we could have done it a little bit better if we would have um, split it up into separate deliveries. Uh, and that car is not being locked into place, by the way. Maybe it has to have tires. Anyway, we're going to get there. Um, I think we'll just meet you there. This is going to be a long journey. If anything ridiculous happens, like kind of what's already happening. Uh, I wonder if it's because with the freeze button, I, I keep hitting it more than one time. Like, I kind of spam it, you know what I mean? Maybe every time you hit the freeze button, it, like, freezes and then unfreezes or something. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to stop and try to re-put that back on. And this time, not spam the freeze button. We're just going to scooch it on. Hit the freeze button one time. One time for the one time. And we'll see if that works. We'll see if that works. Uh, jump back in. Sit your booty down. Oh, I killed it. I killed it. Damn it. And into first. Did I? Uh, okay, I did. I did. Let's see if this works any better. Uh, we're roasting some tires, by the way. Watch. Let's floor it just a little bit. No, let's not actually and say we did. Yeah, let's go and floor it. Okay, just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And I still haven't turned my cars back on, by the way. So that's why you don't see any vehicles out here. Yeah, it's still sliding. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, anyway, uh, I'll meet you guys back there. If anything happens, I'll be back. Okay, there's our our freaking tire machine, by the way. Uh, we are going to stop and grab that tire machine. And we're going to try to push this thing back over again. Um, I did push P. Uh, so I might have to push P again. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. It doesn't seem like the uh, freeze button or whatever uh, works too swell. You know what I mean? Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just kind of scooch this over a bit more. There we go. There we go. And push it over. Okay. Okay. Let's grab our move tool. Uh, we're going to get this thing loaded up. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we're going to have to peek our fat heads in here real quick. And I think we're just going to toss it in there. Uh, it doesn't seem like things are really staying in here anyway. Yeah, that looks good. And the Niv is holding up just fine, just fine. Yep, check it out. Let's go ahead and uh, bag this, and let's get out of here. 
hopefully uh this car stays on it doesn't seem like it uh, we're gonna go ahead and unfreeze and then freeze again maybe we need to push e instead of the left click anyway we're gonna sit down we're gonna hit p uh hopefully that'll help freeze it and let's go let's go i think we have some more uh stuff up here that we're gonna have to grab as well uh so yeah yeah okay 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 fantastic okay well uh let's continue on okay here's the other shelving let's go ahead and get stopped okay hopefully th we didn't lose anything that was kind of an abrupt <laughs> stop anyway anyway uh, i need to push this wolf back on it keeps sliding off uh maybe the locking mechanism only works uh with a car that has tires on it you know what i mean oh no i think we lost our trailer uh by the way yeah we sure did okay get over you freaking bastard anyway anyway everything's uh breaking on me everything is breaking let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up uh, as it's causing us issues there we go there we go oh no 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 stop 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 okay everything's breaking everything's breaking let's put the damn things on okay 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 anyway anyway holy freaking crap so it's not ideal it's not ideal you know i never said it was the best way to move shop but i mean it is working it is working okay we're gonna have to do this carefully you basically need to come out like this get your whole freaking body turned like so without having too many head jerks bring it back like so yeah enough because if you turn your body too far to the right or the left for that matter um you will in fact screw yourself very badly very badly okay there we go anyway let's get the move tool there it is uh let's get this shelving in I think we're just going to kind of just slap it in here and hope for the best. Let's see how it looks. Uh, that's not quite ideal. Not quite ideal at all. Uh, let's bring it back a little bit further. A little bit further. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, it's all up in my business here. Okay, easy pow, easy. Uh, let's see if we can get this in here again like so. Uh, we'll just do it like this and we'll just see what happens. I think it's going to be fine and then we just have this big ass bench up here that we need to grab um is everything still connected it seems to be it seems to be let's see if we could just put these brakes on real quick uh maybe that will help uh keep it kind of stable there we go there we go i don't think so though that brake is already on yeah 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 okay i'm just going to run down here real quick uh and the damn nivs falling off okay okay fair enough yeah let me go ahead and get this all put together Okay, okay, I got the trailer back on. Um, the Niv kind of fell off, but look, I see something over here. Oh, it's just a bush. I thought I saw something a little bit more important, but anyway, anyway, uh, we just have to go ahead and get it, the Niv back on here, which right there we go, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, I put that up top. I don't know if it's going to stay up there. Um, the inside is a little bit packed at this time with the furniture, uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out, but let's go and get this thing started. Uh, it's in first. We're going to have to release that brake. And uh, yeah, let's get it put up on. Oops, easy, easy. Let's get it put up onto the thing. There we go. There we go. We got it. Oops, easy. Get back over. Get back over. Okay, okay. Easy, easy. Let's see if we can do this all in first person, by the way. Uh, and stop, stop kick it off hit the brake yep jump out and let's see how we did as far as uh even in and out okay i did pretty good oh yeah 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 i did pretty good i did pretty good i'm getting to know my car yeah yeah okay let's get this down and then let's get out of here let's get the hell out of here uh we're almost back we're almost back i think i changed my mind by the way i think i am going to go ahead and have those other cars uh shipped if you know what i mean anyway any bleeding away uh let's get going <laughs> okay okay well, well guess what did you guess take a couple guesses oh well you got it right yeah we ran out of gas we ran out of fuel anyway it just kind of stalled on me um we're just going to kind of coast it the rest of the way uh this is basically the speed i was driving anyways so we're going to see exactly how far we can get this bad boy uh, all the way up there yeah 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 i think so i think so and yeah you know i don't think we're going to uh i think we're basically once we get to the shop um i'm gonna go ahead and unload a lot of this stuff uh get some cars moved around or probably not even move cars around i think we're just gonna 
stop, uh, unload some stuff and just kind of call it at this. Um, I think we've been going for long enough today, uh, but we will coast it the rest of the way. Uh, we are in fact going to come through the dirt like this. Let's pop out and it seems like everything's holding. Oh, yep. Are you holding? Yep. It's holding. It's holding. Excellent. Excellent as can be. Okay, so the only thing that we can do is I do have those gas tanks uh, up at the house. So uh, we will, in fact, do that. Let's get pulled over to the side of the street, uh, you know, for realism's sakes. There we go. Can we put on our hazards? Nope, because I don't have that mapped. Anyway, anyway, uh, we're still pretty much right in the middle of the road, but that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and hit the brake. And there we go. There we go. Well... That is going to be it, I think, for this one, you guys. Yeah, yeah, I think we're just going to end it right here. The next one, we will continue our journey. I'll probably pop off the Niv, go grab that gas tank, get this thing filled up. We'll get it back over there, uh, and then we're going to go head back to the garage and grab those last two cars in the next one and then start setting everything up. I think I will uh, just have those other cars teleported through the tow truck rather than towing it. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later on, everybody. Later on. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later on.